Hello everybody, thank you for watching this video and listening to me tell a story about a dream that I had. It was a dream I was not trying to have or expecting to have at all. Alright, so this is not a fake story, this is really something that I experienced, like it was 100% real. When I'm in my dreams, it is 100% real like living a completely separate life in your dreams, astral, whatever higher realms and dimensions I might get to go to and whatever I might experience is unknown. But sometimes I write them down. And I had a journal book, not a journal book, in my poem binder that I might try to get back. I'm trying to get back. There was a couple dreams I wrote down before. They're pretty cool stories. On my other channel, I had one on there. That's a crazy story I could read again later about a dream I had. This one was a special dream. Um, I was in the dream, right? It was my dream. I was in it. And so I was me in the dream. I looked like me. And then I, I'm like, a dream started for me was like, I'm just suddenly there and I'm awake. It's like as if you were sleeping and you wake up and you had your eyes closed. And then you wake up suddenly somewhere else. Except I do fall asleep for a certain amount of time. This dream actually happened within a half an hour because I woke up at, at 1.30 but then I just went back to sleep after I had some water. I looked at the time, I was like, oh no, I'm not waking up at 1.30 anymore today. So I went back to sleep and then I had this dream. I'm sitting there <clears throat> in this house or apartment. I'm not sure exactly how big it was. I know there was a bathroom and then the room where I was in with the girl. And there was a bedroom. I don't know if there was two bedrooms. But I was in the like living room hanging out area with these two kids and we were just hanging out and having fun not really having, not having fun sexually I mean like but we were just hanging out talking and hanging out the way the way we hang out together with people then after a little while it seemed like they were getting turned on and like flustered and aroused like I don't know they were just getting turned on from like and then, after some time, one of them is like, oh, I need to go powder my nose. And then the other one goes, oh, yeah, I need to go to the bathroom, I think. So, yeah. so they all both go into the bathroom together. From there and there, I don't know how long, but time in the dream world, wherever I'm at, doesn't seem like it passes the same here. So it, it, to me, it's more seeming like a longer time. Because when I was in the dream, it seemed like we were hanging out for a while. And they probably went to the bathroom before and came back. And we just did different things, hanging out, having fun. Maybe, I, don't, I just don't remember all the stuff that we did in the dream. But they're in the bathroom, it seems like, for a long time. And I'm just sitting there, like, what? What the heck? After I finally notice, it just feel like it's been a long time. I start, like, wait a minute. What am I feeling? What the hell is going on? And I'm like, whoa. 
and having this feeling of being turned on, like aroused and caressed. But it was not caressed yet. It was just like I was getting turned on by something. And then, you know, after a little bit of more time, it did feel like I was getting caressed by a woman's hands, slowly, like a massage that's sensually of the hands over time, you know, just slowly progress. So I'm thinking these women must have some kind of weird abilities I don't know about, or they're doing some kind of something in the bathroom together, messing with me or something. I don't know who these chicks were in the dream. At this point, you know, I, I, I just kind of popped in at the end of them hanging out and then going to the bathroom. <laughs> so I just let myself kind of feel it and I didn't know what was going on, you know, after a bit, you know. Like, what? It was really... I feel like I was being physically touched. Like, I was had some real being around me that I couldn't see and they were touching me. I mean, it'd be like me sitting right here I am in this, in this van and all of a sudden I start feeling hands from behind me start caressing my chest and you know, doing all that kind of slow arousal thing to me. But I was just sitting on a couch in the living room area. So I'm like, okay, I don't know what's going on after a minute. You know, I mean, I felt good for a minute, but I'm like, okay, what's going on here? <laughs> this is kind of, what? So I made myself, can I get up, get out of it? I don't know what's going on. So I decided to go check on them in the bathroom. And... I don't remember how far I was from the bathroom, but as I was walking, I didn't, I didn't hear them, like, talking or on a cell, on a phone, or they had a cell phone, I don't know. But in my head, I was thinking they could have been on their cell phone, because I was me in the dream. I didn't know exactly what time period it was or not, but time period it was. It was just no recognizable comfortable situation, I recognized everything in the dream. Like, oh, I've seen this place before, I, I, I don't know what it looks like. I didn't feel uncomfortable there, I was just kind of like, more about, oh, I am here and there's these two hot chicks in there, in the middle of a conversation with me and I gotta act like I know what they're talking about and try to hang out with them. And I'm sure after that, I probably sounded strange in my conversation to them and that's why they decided to go to the bathroom that's what was my thinking you know because I, I had no idea what they were talking about and I just had to like improvise everything and just act the best I could but yeah they weren't in the bathroom at all when I got there and it did look like they were in there, and it was not like spick and span like it was, but I don't remember how messy it was, but I could tell that they were in there before. So then I'm in the bathroom, and I start to feel more aroused, you know, as if now I'm getting more physically aroused, like, more sexually, in a way, all over my body. I'm like, what? And I just like, at first I was like by the mirror, in the bathroom, and looking around, like, we're not in here, real quick. And I start to feel aroused all, and I guess uh, I sit down on the toilet seat, and I'm like, what the hell? Because I'm not seeing anything not noticing or feeling or sensing anything like I had before. 
that it happens a feeling some kind of negative energy from something or you know it felt like they were right there but I just couldn't see them so I feel like I was actually after a little bit because they were you know touching and, and feeling and kissing me all over and then I actually felt like I was having sex but I'm just sitting on the toilet in the bathroom feeling more and more aroused over time and, and like there's two women in the bathroom with me doing all this too and you know it's just pretty out of my mind there not knowing what the hell I was experiencing there so I'm like feeling there like I'm having sex right and then I start to hear the word moan moan the women's voices you know like but they're not in the bathroom with me the sounds are coming from down the hall but the sex I'm having is in front of me and I'm feeling it like I'm, it's happening right here in front of me in, in the bathroom but I'm hearing the voices somewhere else so that was really trippy I was just kind of it happened a little bit started happening you know as, as it would happen you know I, was, I heard sounds of them having a moaning and she's, you know, getting pleased. One of them I could tell was getting pleased on the body. And one of them kind of like there's a turn somewhere else getting pleasure on the body. So I'm like, what the heck is going on after a minute, you know? Because uh, it just, you know, kept on going. It didn't like stop. But I kept hearing their voices in, in the other room somewhere. I didn't know which room it was coming from. Or if there was another room, or only one room, I mean, totally honestly, I didn't check them both. I go to them both, so I don't know for sure if there is two or one. But I know there's at least one in there. If this was the living room that I was in, and the kitchen was over there. Oh. So, you know, I didn't get all feel all mad and I didn't know what to do so I just like got up again and I just had to like stop feeling it and um, the feeling of them like went away and then I wasn't having sex and I didn't have any arousal feelings when I got up so then I got out of the bathroom and probably looked in the mirror for a minute. Probably splashed my face in the water or something. I don't know exactly what I did before I left the bathroom. You know, I, I, I didn't feel all mad. And I, and, and I get to one of the rooms and I don't feel all mad about seeing you know, them. I was just like, wow. You're having sex with some other guy. What? And I'm like, I start saying to them, Hey, I thought you came here to be with me, not him. And then, without even turning around, I just, I hear them saying, We are here with you, baby. I said, Yeah, but you're having sex with him. So, what do you mean, you know? <laughs> so, like, get off of him and be with me too, also. So I can have some sex. Or at least one of you also, right? And I guess I'm, like, not bad. I didn't feel mad about seeing some other guy having sex with him. I, I don't know. And then they say again, baby, we are. I'm like, what? I'm like confused. I'm standing over here by a door and they're having a conversation with me, not even turning around. But I can hear them like 
they're right in front of me talking, but they're over there in front of me. So you know how they weren't that close, but it just didn't seem like they were far away. So I told them to, hey, so I say, get off of him. But they say, who is him? We are all right here with you. There is no one else here but the three of us. I'm like, what? Uh, I see four people here. What? And I say, just, you know, get just get off him now and turn around and look at me. I'm standing by the door behind you. Not in front of you. And then they start acting frantic, but they don't turn around right away. You know, they're just kind of like looking at each other, and, and I'm sure they're there, you know, as if they're shocked. But they weren't turning around and looking at me. They're just, you know, so looking forward, and that was just like confusing to me. By my words, telling them to get off of him. You know, or get off of me. I didn't say get off of me, I said get off of him. So eventually they move off of him and I begin to see him because I only saw his pants. I couldn't, he wasn't wearing, he's still wearing shoes, I just saw pants and the naked women on top of his body. One was on top and one was by his face. I'll leave that to your imagination, what he, the one was doing in front of his face. But the one on, you know, by my face gets off first. But I still couldn't see my body and face. But, but it's not a him I see. I see myself as Jimi Hendrix. After they get off and I see the whole body, I'm like, what? Is this like a shock experience? And then boom. I was inside of Jimi Hendrix, and I'm back inside. And the women say, "Oh, baby," they like they turned, they finally turned around, like, and then they, and they turned around back and say, "Oh, oh, baby, you really had us going for a minute, like you invited some other man, without telling us, you know, telling us that we're having another man come over." And they, they took, they were confused, and then turned around like, "Oh, they're." Like, oh, you got us, you know. They make a big old, it was a whole funny thing about it. And then both, or one of them, come to kiss me. And then, boom, I woke up right after they kissed me. I was just like, back here. And I didn't even look at the time right away either. I don't, I, it was just kind of like, well, okay. That was kind of trippy. <laughs> but it was also just like my wolf in me poem. Being myself in the dream and in the wolf at the same time after seeing him and myself. You'd have to hear that poem know what I'm talking about. But when I looked at the tunnel, it was 2 a.m. So, I mean, I didn't wait too long. It was just like a perfect... I don't remember if it was after exactly 2.01, 2.03. But I looked at the clock and it said 2. I didn't remember seeing any numbers other than 2. After waking up after only half an hour of sleep. So... Yes, that was a crazy experience, and I could not go back to sleep. So, the time where I am at right now is in the 3 o'clock hour, but before 3.30. So thank you for listening, and you know how long I've been awake now since not going to sleep. And I haven't taken a nap. Sometimes I've taken a meditation nap waking up super early for some reason last month. I didn't know why. Is that an alarm clock? I've just been waking up early for the last month and a half. From the times of four and five. And sometimes three o'clock. I would wake up 
get them to stay awake. Because in the three o'clock time, when I decided and woke up, I had already woken up more than once or twice already. Sometimes, just one time, I would wake up, go back to sleep. So it just depends. I have no control. I try to go to bed not too late, not too early now. So I don't know what time I'm going to wake up and start my day and not be able to go back to sleep. But it's not like I'm feeling tired. But some days I do feel tired at least two times. And then it goes away after meditating, not going to sleep. And then I would open my eyes. I'd set a timer for that on my phone, like a half an hour, 45 minutes, or an hour, depending on what time it is. Usually I go for about 45 minutes to an hour for a nap. Alright, thank you for listening to this awesome story and dream I have.